A good place to start is the end, the end of a Second World War, the end, in a sense, of art itself. It's a kind of apocalyptic feeling. And later on, Giorowski started from scratch himself. Just behind me, you see a painting of 1961, which appears to be a void with a single diagonal line in it. But it's a kind of fiat lux moment, a kind of projection of a line which is dark into the void which is space on the sky. And it's a dramatic painting. It's because there's a play between absence and presence, between the empty field and the activated electric single line. That's very, very much like Barnett Newman and his so-called zips. And if Gierowski often makes us think of other artists, American and also European artists, such as Kazimir Malevich, a Ukrainian artist, who in a sense took art back to zero with his black square and his white square, there are precedents for Gierowski's art. But what, for me, makes it very special is that although he encourages us to think about other artists, other movements, tachism, the use of a brush mark, abstract expressionism, and Mark Rothko, the play of light and darkness, surface and depth, void and presence, and, of course, Vladimir Stravinsky's unism, sense of a unity, Malevich, going back to the absolute basics of our the square, whiteness, blackness, beginnings and ends. Despite all of these echoes and possible coincidences in many cases, Giorowski throughout his career, to my mind, remains his own man.